Meanwhile, it has been five years since the Eagle Creek fire burned roughly 50,000 acres near the Columbia River. Some people lost their homes. Others were told to leave immediately. Foxwell's Jeffrey Lindblom visited, visited one town that was right in the mix and brings us the story. Cascade Locks, known as the heart of the gorge. And five years ago, when the Eagle Creek fire swept through, it reminded some people that this place is the heart of their lives. And five years ago to them feels more like just yesterday. Oh, oh, there you are. I mean, it just feels like a little while ago, but I'm 77 and a little not all here anymore. So. <laughs> Jerry Eckhoff wishes he still had the photographs he took from his yard as the Eagle Creek fire burned, but they've since been lost. I fell in the river. <laughs> Even still, unlike the smoke that was in the air at the time, he remembers it clear as day. Oh, I mean, it was right above the freeway here, which is just uh, a couple hundred yards from where we are. You can see that all the burnt trees. I mean, it was big flames and smoke. I mean, it was huge. We were lucky they had uh, all the helicopters and big planes that were flying over uh, protecting us here. While firefighters helped keep his home protected from the flames, they couldn't protect him from crime, he says was spreading just as fast as the fire. There were vandals sneaking around. Things were disappearing. It was a, just a chaotic time. There are bad people that take advantage of that sadness, so to speak. Which is why he had three trailers packed and ready to go with his most precious things. Ready to drag out of here. One of those same trailers is now occupied by his friend Charlie, who was hiking one of his favorite trails just a week before it was engulfed in flames. He recalls the time before the fire. In the mist would come off the canyon walls and kind of keep you cool. You know, it was just a beautiful, beautiful hike. Took away all the beauty of it, you know. Now you're just hiking to hike, you know, you're not really out there taking in the beauty. You're more worried about the burnt trees and before you couldn't take enough pictures. He says even though this area used to be far more plush and green, a lot of the plant life, he says, has started to come back and this hike is still a worthwhile one. Slowly coming back, but it's going to take a long time. For Fox 12 Oregon, I'm Jeffrey Limblum reporting.